All right, let's move on. Our second presenter this evening is Natasha Hagemeyer. Uh, she's a PhD in Ecological Sciences. Her presentation is called The Social Network, and her faculty member is Dr. Eric Walters. With the advent of social media networks, such as Facebook and Twitter, we've become the most socially connected generations that have ever lived. But social interactions are important for many animals, ranging from whales all the way down to ants. These interactions can be competitive, think fights, or they can be cooperative, like helping your friend. But cooperation is counterintuitive. Why would you help someone else when you could be helping yourself? To look at cooperation, we study not only humans, but also other animals that cooperate, such as this handsome fellow, the acorn woodpecker. Acorn woodpeckers are among the most social bird species in the world. They live in large family groups centered around acorn storage trees, and the grown-up children remain at home to help raise their siblings. No woodpecker wants to help their parents forever, though, because as long as they live with their parents, they're not able to have a family of their own. But these birds live in a tough housing market where every storage tree already has a group living there. In order for a bird to have its own family, it must either wait for its parents to die so that it can inherit their storage tree, or they must find a vacancy that has recently happened at another tree and fight for the right to live there. These fights can be brutal and require the help of multiple siblings to win. Just like in any gang war, it's the biggest gang that wins. The fights can also start within hours of the disappearance of a bird, which raises the question, how does information travel so quickly? My first experiment showed that helper birds don't respond to the sound of fights. It's not tweets with these guys. So we placed small radio tags on the woodpeckers so we could spy on them as they moved across the landscape. But as it turns out, it's the birds who are the real spies. These woodpeckers spend more than half of their time away from their home, keeping track of who's living where and with whom. In addition, they also will often travel with their family members, suggesting that important sibling alliances are formed long before the time ever comes to fight for a storage tree. This intense monitoring of their neighbors leads to a highly connected social network where individuals, shown here as circles, direct their spying runs to the biggest and best storage trees. This suggests that these helpful birds aren't quite as domestic as they seem. Rather, helping to raise their siblings is just a case of making the best out of a bad job. They're helping others to help themselves until the time comes when they can finally move out and have a family of their own. Thank you. Well done. Did anybody else notice any similarities between the woodpecker and the human species? I, I just don't, right? I mean, it seems like this is the, sometimes I feel like we're waiting for each other to move out, and I, I guess in the animal kingdom, it's all very much the same. Well, I always said that these guys would make a very great sitcom if we ever wanted to sit down and film them, because uh, they've got more drama than the Borgias. Got it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Natasha. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you.